amazing artists. Ribbit, can you tell what we're going to be drawing today? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yeah, we've got a collection of frogs here today, friends. Amazing artists, we are going to celebrate one of my favorite animals, the frog. You're learning about frogs in class, and I just thought I'd share some of my cherished frog collection. There's also some books about frogs that I have. I liked this one because of the artwork. It's shaped like a frog. And as you can see, frogs live in the water. They have very long, smooth skin. Their eyes bulge. And um, this is a beautiful book about them. This is also one of my favorite books, if not my favorite after Creepy Carrots. This is called Tuesday by David Wisner. This is a children's book, a picture book, which does not have words, but it's a fantasy book about frogs flying at night. I would like to read this to you one day. So there's another one. Also, which I don't have here, one of my favorite books, Frog and Toad, check it out. I know our library has it. What you're going to need today to draw a frog is something, a pencil. I always tell you to use pencil first but for camera purposes, I will be using a pencil. And if you'd like to color it in, we have my favorite construction paper crayons, but you can use whatever your heart desires to draw this. First step is you're going to draw the eyeballs. So we're gonna draw some circles. You can color it in. You can leave an area for the white, see the difference? Always keep that white in there. Then we're gonna draw his head. We're gonna do a little bump here, a little bump there, and then curve his mouth like this. You can stop the video if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna draw his head out like this, his little chin. And you can draw, if you wanna draw your, your frog leaping with his arms out, uh, put some action in it. We're gonna draw his arm out like this, two long arms like a little rectangle, and then his long toes so that he can swim through the water. And then this one will put kind of curve and we'll follow the line with another curve. And then his long fingers. And remember, you can always stop the video to catch up. Then we're going to draw his belly. So we're going to attach his belly to his arm here. We're going to attach his back. I made mine a little. He's been eating some ice cream. And then we're going to draw his legs out. Same way we did the arms. I'm going to have this one go out this way. And this one maybe will have him doing an action pose. So both legs won't be the same. We'll have follow the line like that. And just like we did with the hand, we're gonna curve his toes. One, two, three, four. And then one, oops, two, three, four. And then connect them here. And then you can decorate them any way that you want. Now frogs have nice, smooth, shiny, slimy skin for, uh, you know, swimming, but you can make your frog, you're the artist, you can do it any way you want. If you want to put some decoration in, put some spots in, frogs are all different colors of browns and greens, so um, you can do that. Let's give them a little pink belly. And then you can also, you know, draw a background in if you'd like. And if you want to, you know, make a little lily pad in the background, have them jumping off of that, don't forget our action lines. We can put some action lines in here to put some movement into our art piece. So you can finish up. I'm gonna finish this up off camera and I hope you enjoyed drawing one of my favorite animals, the frog. Ribbit, ribbit.